Hi, welcome to Two Non Doctors. I'm Liz Mealy. I'm Maria Shahada. I am sad they missed you trying to set up a light, sitting down, hearing crashes, standing up again, setting it up, hearing crashes. <laughs> and it's not even like good light. Like, look at this. This is like screwed up lighting. No, I mean it's. I mean it's. It's kind of like a smoky, like like if you were taking like sultry pictures, I'd be like perfect. But it's not. Um, we're not matching lighting vibes i'll tell you that much no it's getting darker so we're gonna have to figure something out how are you how are you how are you (laughs) all right i mean i was um (laughs) i went hiking with evan sunday and i was telling my dad i was like i i feel like a dog that you took for a run and then they come back and they like just pass out and they like they sleep the hardest they've ever slept. Like we Don't came do back that with kids too. Huh? Don't people do that with kids too? Yeah, just take them to a playground and they're like, "What?" <laughs> like just like and then yeah. they come back and you're like, "This is the best. It was worth it to hear all that screaming." But like legit went for a hike, drove back, then took a shower, like ate, took a shower. And then he was reading, like, he was reading survival books to me. It's like 8.30 at night. Like, he's reading some kind of survival book. I couldn't tell you what's happening because I fell asleep and I woke up maybe an hour later and I was like, where's my glasses? He's like, I took it off because you fell asleep on your back with your mouth open. <laughs> like, just full. And I was like, I'm going to bed. I was like, I cannot. And I was like, I work out. Why is, why is... I mean, it was a three-hour hike, so I guess I don't work out for three hours. And yeah, we took, we took snack breaks. We took scenery breaks. Like it wasn't like trudging, but it. I am not. I just don't. It just never feels like you're ever in shape enough for the activity you want to do. And sometimes that activity is just going upstairs. Oh, a hundred percent. Yeah. <laughs> Remember when we were on the phone and I just went up a flight of stairs and I was like, wow, I am, I needed a minute. Yeah. The hot yoga I haven't done in a while. And I was like out and I was out this morning. I went to hot yoga, but I went like 20 minutes early and I was sitting in that heated room and I fell asleep and then just like in poses, like <laughs> eyes closed. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to do um, Shavasana. Can we do it now? Yeah. <laughs> Just doing my best. I was on a flight and this girl and her boyfriend, like the boyfriend had the middle seat. And I look over at him. Man is out. Like mouth open. Like. Proud. It, it, yeah. Proud you can sleep that way. It was funny, but I looked over and she had like, was slowly like moving her phone towards his face to take a picture. And she got a picture of it and I saw it and I, I had to laugh out loud. It was perfect. It was the perfect picture up his nose. Yeah, great. Uh, There's a bunch of... Because Evan can't really sleep on a plane. I can, at this point, sleep anywhere. Uh, I've fully become my father. But um, there's so many pictures of me, like, passed out, mask, hoodie. (laughs) Yeah. um, Like, especially when I sleep... We're both like this. Like, we can sleep on the, um, the tray table. But it's not a comfortable looking sleep nor is it a actual physical comfortable looking sleep some guy was um diagonal to me i was in the aisle seat for some sad reason and saw me fall asleep that way and i was getting my bag and he's like i don't want to be rude but i was quite impressed with your ability to sleep but it also looked painful and i was like thank you and it was (laughs) yeah Yeah. i I will be paying for it all weekend (laughs) (laughs) But I insist on 6 a.m. flights. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm a psycho. I'm just out here being a psycho. You have your reasons, and they're good reasons, so... Thank okay. you. Thank yeah. you for respecting it. Yeah, I get it. I get it now. You're always right. Th- thank you. Thank you. Wow, I'm glad that's recorded. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's going to be my ringtone. Um, so I'm relieved. Yeah, I was going to say. I mean, I, we're just two girls that finish tapings that... Um, are sleeping better. Yeah, 100%. Uh, it's over, and I've done it. And whatever I got, I got, but I loved it. Did we tell people that you taped? Well, I mean, you, it's your news. You should say it. 
Oh, the I, okay. Hmm. Um, it's actually better when other people say it. It's funny because like, I'm not supposed to tell anybody, right? I wasn't supposed to tell anyone. I don't know what the rules are now, but like it's all over Instagram. I got live at the Apollo, which is like a big deal over here in the UK. I don't know how, I don't know if people really know like what kind of deal it is in the US. Yeah. Well, I kept saying like, ah, it's like 200 people. You'll be fine. And you're like, it is not. It's 4,000 people. And 4, I was like, 000. and I was like, okay, now I'm nervous. <laughs> 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 like, yeah, being like, it's fine. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah you have to do it like a few times. I was like, muffin. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like, well, I'm going to have you pretend it's 200 people. Um, but yeah. I did, I downgraded it like six times. And each time you're like, Okay, I don't think you know what this is. And I was like, I don't. <laughs> yeah, well, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, yeah, it's, 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 it's nice. It was nice to have done it. It was fucking fun. Uh, it turns out, like, 4,000 is right around my comfort zone. <laughs> That's perfect for me. I've only done that number a couple of times. Well, actually, like, one other time. It was, like, 6,000. I don't think I've ever performed for that many people. I think my max is like maybe two. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think I have. That's what I feel comfortable most at. I feel Good. like. Great. 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 You're like, I can't, <laughs> I can't go back. Yeah. Um, it went well. I mean, I don't know if, I don't know if the recording got it. I don't know what they got. I'm sure I'll see it and be like, I hate my eyebrows. They're all messed up. I can't show people this clip now. But yeah. as far as in the room live, I'm very happy with how it went. Good. Which is good because a lot of the shows leading up to it, and I told you, like, I'm like, I, some of these shows are making me wonder why I ever thought I could do this, <laughs> you know. But it's done. It's do you, done. you won't know air date for a while. I guess not. No, I, I have yeah. no idea. How many people recorded? Like, how many people is it? Do you know that? How many comedians? Yeah. Um, they one, two, three, four, five, six, seven shows because one of them is a Christmas special. So there's six shows. So it's two two comedians per show, plus the host. So it's like fourteen comedians and then maybe seven hosts. Okay. Nice. Is that right? I don't yeah. know. I, I'm Doesn't not gonna matter. Do yeah, not a ton. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exciting. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Um. <laughs> I just got the video for mine last week and I was watching it this weekend and, and today. And it's just so funny because I, mine was like, all I could remember was sweating. It was the most I've ever sweat in my career. Cause I made <laughs> four jacket choices. Um, but I felt really stiff for the first like 15 minutes of the first show. And I was like, it's going to suck or whatever. And it's so funny how much I was looking at it and I was like, Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> like, like oh, I'm good. gonna, yeah, I'm gonna use the first show as the base. There's just like a couple. I made some fumbly things that I'll steal from the second show, which is how I like to do it. First show, get it in the bag. Second show, fix mistakes. You know, um, and that's it's. It was a last year. I literally took one joke from this show, one joke from that. Like it was. I was like piecemealing it together. This is like first show. Use some stuff to fix mistakes. Maybe two jokes from the second show. I liked my performance better, but I was like, oh. But I only thing that I re truly remembered is there was a bunch of like on punchlines, like on punchlines, things dropping. Um, mm -hmm. So I remember twice I found out later that it was a cameraman had to change a battery. He dropped the battery and then oh he picked God. it up and he dropped it again. And I was like, Christ, dude. So I remembered that twice and then watching it, there was like four or five times where like major loud sounds happened. Luckily, most of them were during lulls, but a couple of them were on punchlines and you're like, Christ. That so is like the timing of, I don't know if you ever did Tribal Cafe in Los Angeles, but like no. it, people would order smoothies in the evenings and then it would just, but they would just always use the blender on your punchline. Like it, so like it was like a joke. And then I like, said, <laughs> Just the places we performed is absolutely wild where people are yeah. like, does this distract you? And I've like, I've had people can't find the bathroom pacing in front of me, slam doors, st like, like just wild shit. Like, yeah. um, do you remember, um, the village lantern, which yeah. was in the basement, which I've only found out recently should have like is illegal. Like it should have never 
been a thing. Yeah. But that's where the bathrooms were. So if you if you went if you were in the bar and you went down the back to the bathrooms, you entered that way. But if you went right as you came in, you would go down the steps and it was like it was sticky. I mean, I remember when they redid it years later, but all I remember is my feet sticking to the ground and not wanting to sit down because it had couches. But like, let's say packed, it held 25 people, if that. But it had these kind of rows or whatever You're on a stage. But there was a hole behind you. Like if this is the stage right on the like to your left was um, uh, the bathrooms. So you're performing pretty much in front of the bathrooms that don't have a door. And same kind of thing. You would be telling a joke and like somebody's like, like it's two girls talking in the bathroom, right? So you're like Wait, over. This is the one that was on. Um, it was in the West the, Village. Yeah. But there's the one Amanda Brumkin Cleese. Yeah. Ran seven nights a week. That, there was a bathroom, but I don't even remember that. I remember falling asleep in the back of that room all many the time. Many times. Many times. Because you would do like a, <laughs> they'd be like, hey, we think we can get you on at 2 a.m. And you're like, no way. That's yeah, so early. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I think like, I'm getting better. <laughs> or it'd be like a bucket where it's like there's like 4,000 names in a bucket. And then you just fall asleep and all of a sudden you hear Maria Shahada. And you're like, huh? Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm prepared. I'm excited about this. Man, that place, that now it's like uh, same kind of size, but it's like upstairs in a back room and it's a way better setup. But I remember when it was the dump. I remember Tom when they should be in basements. That's where they're, they're best. Um, as I've, as I've made it above ground, as two people that have performed in more theaters above ground, I am fighting that. <laughs> no, I love it. I love it. That's where I want to incubate. In the basement. I do. I do love a small room. I do love like being able to literally feel the laughs hit my face. Like, I don't <laughs> think I don't think you ever get over that feeling of like almost like shock. Like it's like reverberating off your body because it's like, oh, I just made everybody in this tiny room laugh. Um, it feels good. It feels it feels physical almost. Um, but, you know, as. I don't understand. I, I, I'm sh any any illness I got now. I'm assuming I got from a basement. Like the fact that yeah. we didn't get COVID until 2020 is wild to me. Because I'm pretty. <laughs> sh I'm so glad my parents vaccinated me. Because I'm sh the the grossest of gross stuff are I'm in the basement. Sorry, I think the reason we didn't die from COVID is because of all the New York germs that we have <laughs> taken into our bodies. Yeah, between the subway <laughs> and being in basements and God yeah. knows what kind of meals we Sharing had any microphone in any city just That's the fucking point. microphones i was thinking about that the other day i was at top secret and it stank and i'm just like the shit we put up to our mouths for this job <laughs> like oh let me say that never again Damn <laughs> yeah no it's Damn, i mean that. <laughs> yeah <laughs> um no i i mean i i think i i it's funny, the pandemic, when we kind of came back in the beginning of like, like I was doing outdoor shows and they had little like mic condoms, you know what I mean? And then mm. people were bringing their own mic. And that was the first time I really thought about it. Like, or even just like you shake someone's hand, then you hold the mic that they were holding. And then I would go eat a burger. Like... You know yeah. what I mean? Like I've just shaken the hand of the guy that's shaken everybody's shaken, shaken everybody's hand, and then I'm yeah. holding the thing that everybody else has held. Like, and we also know male comics. Like, I don't know if they ever have washed their hands. I still don't think they've washed their hands. Like, I'm just thinking like the grossest of twenty year olds that we've shaken their hands, and then I would eat. Would eat. <laughs> Well, am I not eat. dead right now? I would eat. <laughs> I know. I, 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 I really think that's what saved us, though. Yeah, maybe. And then, you know, all the subway rolling around. Um, yeah, I know. <laughs> Just licking know. poles. <laughs> Again. Licking all yeah. the poles. No. No more. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I'm a lovely lady. Why Why are these words coming out Sometimes this way? I got off stage at the Apollo and my makeup, or the wardrobe girl goes, oh, like, she was like, oh, really enjoyed that, you naughty girl. And I was like, what did I say that was so naughty? They had to, like, somebody had to remind me that I had spoken about blowjobs in my set. I was like, no, I didn't. 
dude, I, oh, I was so, I don't do them anymore, but I was doing, this guy was booking like clean shows and it was like PG-13. It wasn't like you had to be uber. Sometimes you have to be somewhat uber clean, but these were like PG-13. And he was just like, just no like blowjob jokes. And I was like, I don't have any blowjob jokes. He goes, I'm pretty sure you have one. I was like, I don't have any blowjob jokes. And then I went through it and I was like, oh, I have two. (laughs) No, I didn't even realize yeah, they had to tell me, no, you alluded to a blowjob. I was like, no, I didn't. And then I was like, oh, there it is. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, no. Mm. Okay. <laughs> but right. it's the same idea. I remember, th- so there was, um, I think it still happens, but there was this, um, uh, my buddy ran a show in Brooklyn at a coffee shop, and it was, it was it's a Christian coffee shop, and you had to be uber clean. Like, you had to be super, you whatever, you just have to be clean. And what I liked about it, honestly, is if all the tips went to a charity and they were really nice charities. Like, like I'm sure right now they're giving to Hurricane Helene. Like, they're, like they, were, they weren't just like Christian charities. It was like, so every month they gave to a different charity and they showed it. And I just, I did, I did like it. And it's like, I can be, I was like, I can be clean. I can be clean. So <laughs> the last time I did it was when I, I was working on my, my joke that's my closer from Murder Sheets, which is about turning my cat into a lamp, my dead cat into a lamp. And so I had never said it before. So I'm just talking out of my butt for 10 minutes. And I, I recall saying shit. And then being like, oh, I was doing so well, right? And it's not, they basically say it's not a big deal. Like, hey, if you could avoid it, if you say it, you don't need to draw attention to it. But I'm telling this kind of, you know, never said before story or trying to figure it out. And then I listened back to it. I said, fuck. I said, shit, four times. I said, um, holy fuck. Like, I mean, delusional about how, I was like, oh, I was like, I only said shit once. I, am I, am I a clean <laughs> comic now? <laughs> yeah. That's so funny. Liz, I, I literally transcribed every joke I was going to do on Live at the Apollo to find all the hidden fucks. I knew they were there. I didn't yeah. know where because I don't want to yeah. hear them anymore. So I was like, there they are. And then I would bold them and then replace them with like the new word. And then I get on stage, say fuck immediately. And I stop and I'm like, because it's a re- like being recorded. So I was like, I'm going to do that again because I only get two fucks. And I used one just now. I didn't mean to use it. <laughs> <laughs> I only got two fucks to give and I'm already running out. Um, That's so funny. It is, it is weird. Like I don't, I know when I'm going to curse when I'm not supposed to curse and then it's about to come out of my mouth. That's when I'm like, oh no, 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 no. What am I going to (laughs) say? I heard, I heard a rumor years ago, like over 10 years ago that like Jay-Z is actually one of the most professional rappers because if he ever did something where he wasn't supposed to curse he could just do it and he would just be silent so when a curse word would come up he would just he knew exactly and he would be silent and then he would go he would like was able to skip it like himself which i just find wild with how fast they're rapping and probably how you know we do like you're saying the same word every time just like we are like it's in there yeah I was, I was like, well, how did N-Words in Paris go? But I'm like, I don't think they actually ever sang that, did they? Um, um, this was also way before, I mean, this is oh, when right. he was like famous, but not famous, famous. So I don't know if he even would accept a gig where he can't curse. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, he's like I'm, I'm not, <laughs> yeah, I'm not even famous. Like, I'm like, clean shows now? <laughs> yeah, I'm not doing clean shows. I'll tell you that much. Um. <laughs> But I remember being like very impressed by that where I'm just like, oh, I, I mean, we like their music is bleeped all the time and people still enjoy it. It you, it doesn't make sense if you bleep, you know what I mean? Like for the most part, like I have to find a different word. Um, yeah. Yeah. Going through my words, I'm like, is it as good if I say, cause they're like, bang. you could say fuck. I'm like, I'm not going to say fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not Irish. Like. Yeah. I, yeah. Or you can, you can say piss off. And I'm like, Mm-mm. no, because that's the other thing is you have to find what is the replacement that you think you would say. And that matches your energy because it's like, sometimes like, I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to bang this dude. And I would say that I'm not like, but sometimes you're just like, I banged this dude. And they're just like, yo dude, that's not, you would not say that. Like <laughs> there's certain instances where it, it works and it doesn't work. Yeah, I tried one where it was like, um, instead of saying fuck, I said, before we hooked up, 
And I was like, no, mm -hmm. it doesn't work. We need the mm -hmm. some, are, some are just necessary. Some are they just necessary. Are. They are. They're important. I put them there for a reason. <laughs> yeah. Every also, I just don't know. I don't know if I can go through life without saying shit. Like, it's not a curse word to me. And I, I truly, truly don't hear it. So, yeah, um, that's that's just a regular word now. <laughs> um, yeah, I have tons of those in my set and they were welcome. So it's all good. good. All good. gravy. Perfect. Yeah. Um, you want to do announcements? Yeah. Um, I am, I'm going to be fucking, I can't wait to see what kind of construction sounds you can hear. I don't even know what they're doing. Um, I'm going to be in Bend when this comes out. Yeah. In like two weeks, I think when this comes out, I'll be in Bend, Oregon and I'll be in Portland, Oregon. And then what else? Um, oh, we're, I have some stuff in November. I can't remember. Um, I just don't remember. And then we're going to be together. We're going to be in Patavia, Illinois together. And we're going to be in Baltimore, Illinois together. Uh, Illinois. Baltimore, Maryland together in oh, uh, okay. December. I'm just making up cities and states um, uh, in December. But everything is at LizMealy.com. And I'm already working on some new stuff if you guys want to see new stuff. Whoa. That's awesome. Um, yeah, I'm doing the reading for my, my Soho, my solo show. Um, it's starting to get some tech. It's, it's, it's nice. It's fun. I'm having fun. Anyway, that's an angel on the November 10th at 5 PM. And if you go to website, mariashahada.com, you'll find the information for that. And for Liz's shows, um, but other than that, no, no other announcements. Follow us. Instagram at two non doctors, the number two. It's sorry, it's at two non DRS, and it's the number two. Twitter and YouTube, it's at two non doctors, number two, full word doctors, and that's the same for our Gmail if you want to write to us. Um, thank you to all our patrons. You guys are the best. We got a few new yeah. ones. We're very excited. Um, yeah, and uh, anyone tipping us? Uh, no updated tips. Okay. But thank you um, for anybody that previously gave us tips on YouTube. Yes. We're not fully monetized. We can just get tips. <laughs> we'll take them. We'll take them. <laughs> um, and uh, I think that's all the announcements, yeah? Yeah. You want to get into googly goos? Yeah. Do you want to go first? I'll go first. I, I don't know if I've done this one before, but I googled um, why do I get dizzy before my period? Oh. I've... I've like, not yeah. to inter not to interject, I remember Googling at some point, either together. I just know I've read something that we are clumsier before our period. That I do know. Like, that's, yeah. that's science. There's I science. walk sideways. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. There is no problem. I'm just like, whoa, I'm over here. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's crazy. I'm just like, why am I so dizzy? Because I feel drunk. But, you know. I haven't drank in five years or something. By the way, apparently, according to my app, I've saved like 35 grand not drinking. Where's that money? Co coffees? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're about the same oh, yeah, price yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> um, right. Dizziness before your period is often caused by the hormonal changes of the menstrual cycle. PMS, PMDD, and dysmenorrhea are <laughs> dysmenorrhea. Um, are the most common causes can of I, other conditions. Can I just Please. say dismen dysmenorrhea sounds like you're shedding men. You're just like dysmenorrhea. Yeah, <laughs> just, I was gonna, I was trying to, like, I was going to say something about men and diarrhea and that being combined, and then I decided no. to let it go. <laughs> yeah, no, I couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> shedding out men. <laughs> <laughs> um... Other conditions that cause dizziness, such as low blood pressure, can also be caused by hormonal changes from your period. Um, prostaglandins can affect... Oh, wait, sorry. I've just, I've just done another toggle, and it started in the middle of a sentence, apparently. Um, yeah, dizziness can be caused before your period because of horm hormonal changes. So I'm like, am I... Because I'm just like, do I have just like the biggest tumor on the side of my brain, and I'm just walking sideways? 
But so when you say dizziness, do you mean like you stand up and you're lightheaded? Or do you mean like you're walking and you truly can't walk no straight? Skills. It's like I'm drunk. Weird. And it's not like, it's not like pronounced. I'm not, I'm not like, you know, down the street, like, oh. But, but I do bump into things. Like I'll I like, do, I get more yeah. bruises the week before my period where I'm like, what? I've, how did the desk jump out at me? Like I, I do bump into stuff more. I bump into things. I like, I, yeah, I bump into walls a lot. I, um, get my sweater caught on door handles <laughs> but um yeah it's a lot of it's a lot of clumsiness and bumping and and it's just like a quick like whoa but it's not it doesn't last a long time but it's no there. i that i knew about that i actually because i i i remember that happening um yeah that's i mean that's just like i don't know why they that doesn't Everything that happens to us, I'm like, how is this for survival? Like, how is this? <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? Like, like, everything is like, oh, this happens. Like, your fight or flight is survival and your death is survival. And then all, everything that happens to us, like menstruating, it's just like, they're like, we're cr it's crazy you're still alive. We didn't even think you guys were. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I don't get it. Yeah. Well, so there that is. At least everything's fine, probably. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I just got back from the dermatologist. It's so funny because like between like lighting, like my I'm skin gonna challenge you, sorry, mm -hmm. to next time have a Google that isn't about your skin. Just I'm not you. doing it. You can't until I resolve. Fuck you. <laughs> no, no. I, I'm over I, here I, trying I, to like change it up. I'm like, how many almonds can I eat? No, <laughs> this, this is my life. life. I, this is my life. Fucking eczema again. Hey, hey, hey. The dermatologist said it's not eczema. Eat a dick. Um, <laughs> my fans love my skin talk. I, I do. I have talked about rashes for a month and I'm sure everybody's like, cool. <laughs> so I don't know if it, I mean, we'll find out if it's true, but I went to the dermatologist because it's been, so it was the summer of getting those heat rashes. And then now like my chin is sandpaper and I've just, I've had dry skin that just won't go away. Like all here. I, I basically was, um, I stopped every skin thing, every single thing, because anything I put on my face, I would break out again and get a different rash. I was just like, I can't do this. So I've stopped everything and that's helped, but it's still, you can't see it with this lighting, but it's like, I would say if my dry skin was at a, a seven, it's now at a, like a three, but it's still there and it doesn't matter what I put on my face, the dry skin never goes away. So I was like, I'm finally ready to just go to a dermatologist. And he thinks I have adult onset rosacea and that what I went through all summer wasn't heat rash. It was rosacea. And what I'm going through now is rosacea. And I was like, it's what? <laughs> I was like, it's what? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was like, can I, can I say no to that? I don't like that. Um, Rosacea is a chronic skin condition that usually appears in adulthood. So I know people that have rosacea as have always had rosacea, but typically between the ages of 30 and 60, it can affect people at any age, but it's more common in fair skinned and women who are going through menopause. That's you, girl. You're carrying <laughs> menopausal over here, you old bitch. <laughs> yeah. I love, I love that you're just like, fine, you're menopausal. Um, I, yeah, or -menopausal. I'm not going to fight you anymore. If you want to be menopausal, we'll be menopausal. I'm just trying to understand my body. And yeah, every time you get on here, you're going to be so... Oh, fine. My thing ran out of batteries. Um, are you going to... You're going to... Next time you're going to have like a little fan. You're like, God, oh, the hot flashes. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> the hot flashes. Um... Uh, rosacea is characterized by redness, pimples, uh, broken blood vessels. It most often affects the face and eyes, but can also appear on the neck, chest, and other areas. You know, frequent blush, uh, flushes and blushing, yellow-headed pimples on your forehead, cheeks, and skin. I kind of had that. Uh, dry skin, swelling around the eyes. I did not have that. Sore eyelids. I did not have that. Uh, thickened skin, mainly on the nose. I don't think so. Light sensitivity. I don't know. Uh, a feeling that, uh, that you have something in your eye. I have had that. Um, red eyes, discoloration of eyes. Okay. Um, so then it's like, um, there's no pure permanent cure of rosacea, just ways to kind of manage it. So it said avoid triggers, 
Like, oh, so he, he was just like stress and like certain foods can bring it on. And I was like, cool, I've been nothing but stressed and I've been eating all the wrong foods. But it said avoid triggers like hot drinks, spicy foods, caffeine, alcohol, exercise, stress, sun, extreme hot and cold weather, being a person. I don't like what the fuck is that list. <laughs> like, it's insane. Um, uh, wash your face twice a day with gentle facial cleanser. Uh, use a humidifier. Uh, drink enough water. Have not done that. Apply sunscreen. I have. Um, choose skincare and cosmetics that are oil free and fragrance free. I feel like a lot of mine are, but I don't know. But I said um, the other question was, why do I have a rosacea all of a sudden? And um, once you have the skin condition rosacea, many things can trigger an outbreak, including sun exposure, emotional stress, hot weather. When it's like, <sighs> I was like, I was genuinely upset when he said it. I kind of hope he's wrong, but get a second he, opinion. He might, he might not be right. You know, I was a little like. So my skin is actually better because I've like been I've stopped every single skin thing except for this um, like uh, um, what do you call it? Uh, Super Goop has like a fragrance free everything free sunscreen that I've been like putting on, and then there's like this cleanser that's like it doesn't sud. It's just like it almost feels like putting shampoo not shampoo like conditioner on your face. Like it, it has no suziness. So it's definitely gone down since I've stopped doing truly everything. So he, he prescribed me a medication that I'm going to pick up um, and I'll at least see. I mean, I would like, I mean, I have not had what I thought was heat rash since the heat has gone down, but I've had any time I put anything on my skin, my, my skin flares up. So, I mean, as somebody that has not gone to school, I should at least see if he's right. But it really bummed me out. Like, Man, I just stopped getting, like, pimples every week. Like, I still get a few of them, but I stopped breaking out. Like, I used, you know, I used to have a goatee of acne, and I feel like I've had that clear skin for, like, a year. And then it's like, oh, she's too happy. Let's give her a different problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So mad. Yeah, you're, yeah, you're, it's, you're, your body's sensitive to everything. I hate it. So, yeah. I mean, I would just be happy, like, I would just be happy with liz lizard skin. And... <laughs> Live your life however you want to. Do you know what I mean? I can't see it at all. I see it. Yeah. I hate it. I know. I know. I'm sorry. That is actually very frustrating. I'm sorry. I'm just making light of it, but it is frustrating and I get no, it. I mean, that's the whole thing. It's, I do have lizard skin. No, I want lizard skin. I know. We got to stop calling you lizard. <laughs> Maybe that's why you're just fine with oh, no. We're manifesting this. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so I will try to have a non-skin Google, but I cannot make any promises as I go through this emotional, uh, distressful situation with my face. Okay, and I hope it all I hope it all works out. Um, Thank you for your support. This lighting made me look like I'm losing oxygen. No, it does look like it does look like you're like on like truly in a spaceship, and they're like, "Hey, I wouldn't talk too much." <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Every time you laugh, you get closer to death. <laughs> I'm just like, bye. Uh, um, well, I feel like we accomplished things. We've all learned a lot. Yeah. And we'll we'll see you guys next week. Thanks, guys. See you next week. Bye. bye.